What's your bigger takeaway here on what we've seen in the markets? So on Friday, it was all about the growth scare and the policy mistake concern. Growth, it turns out, has been slowing much faster than people anticipated. And then there was an understanding that the Fed had missed a golden opportunity to cut rates. What we've seen today is the third leg, which is really bad technicals being triggered, and the concern that these bad technicals would feed back onto the economy. Um, so we are in a situation where markets have overshot, especially in the fixed income side, especially on government bond yields. And what we need now is for these markets to regain their footing. It doesn't mean, Alex, that the Fed should do an intermediate cut. That would be a big mistake, in my opinion. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts further on the bad technicals feeding back to the real economy. Does that happen? Is that how it works, that bad technicals can feed back to the economy? Yes, they can. And that's the nightmare you want to avoid. Um, bad technicals basically mean certain people have been caught off sides. And you have over-levered situation, the Japanese carry trade being one of them. And you have overhyped valuations. So what tends to happen, and you said it, is that when, as people try to get back on side, they sell what they can. Mm -hmm. And when they sell what they can, you get what's called contagion. And that contagion can start entering the credit market, can start going into different segments that make borrowing harder, that make banks more prudent. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you've got the technicals leading to a credit crunch then th that then undermines the economy. We're not there, but that's the one thing to keep an eye on.